Now we're going to talk a little bit about fertilizer. We recommend using an organic fertilizer uh, to bring back some of those microorganisms back onto your property. These might have been lost during the construction phase of your home or maybe some other processes. Um, this Sustain 464 that we're going to be using today, um, it's an organic fertilizer. It has a little higher phosphorus rating just to ensure um, quality root growth while those seeds are trying to germinate and just to ensure a healthy lawn. All right, now we're going to talk a little bit about planting the seeds. After you've got all your weeds controlled and your site preparation done, now is the time to plant. And to start with, we're going to talk a little bit about seeding rates. Um, using our Blue Ribbon Blend, we recommend a 4 to 5 pound seeding rate, and that is per 1,000 square feet. Um, all that is, the 4 to 5 pounds is your weight, and that amount of seed is supposed to cover 1,000 square feet in your yard. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. In order to apply the seed, um, what you're going to do is get the seed, you're going to put it in your hand spreader, your drop seeder, whatever you're using, and start to apply the seed on your yard. And as you're planting, just remember, you're going to want to go in two directions. Now, whatever's easiest, if you want to do north and south, then east and west, however's easiest for you, just, just do that. Um, when you're going, just make sure that when you make one pass and you turn around to go make another pass, make sure that you're getting some overlap happening. That way you're completely covered as far as your yard and you're not going to have any spots when it starts to germinate that don't have any seed on them. After you've applied the seed on your yard, you're going to want to get out your rake again and just lightly incorporate that seed into the soil. And What I mean by lightly is you don't want any seed that's more than a quarter inch deep under the soil because anything that's deeper than that is going to have a hard time germinating and growing. Um, right now what we're going to do is go over just a little bit about the bag basics, how to open it, and put it into your hand spreader. If you'll notice here on the front, you can see the stitching across here. There's just a single row of stitches. If I turn it over here to the back, you can see that it's doubled, doubled over here. There's two, two rows of stitching. So what you're going to want to do, this is just what I do, personal preference, is you go to the side that has the double stitching, go all the way to the left side of the bag, cut off these strings as close as you can to the bag, then come around to the other side with your hand and grab this single stitch, pull it through, and just open it all the way up like that. You can want to get rid of any tags and things like that. Open up your bag, um, close it off here, dump it here in your seed spreader, shake it all out, make sure you get it all, and then you're ready to plant. 